Okay, setting up my screen. Okay, uh, hello everyone. It's me, it's Mark, and I'm here with you for another live stream class. Yay! Before I do anything, I need to know if you can see me and hear me. If you can see me and hear me, please say yes in the chat so I know everything is okay. If you can see me, if you can hear me, please say yes in the chat so I know everything's a-okay and then I can start. When I know everything is okay, then I will start. I'm looking for a Y-E-S. Lolly, thank you so much. Yes, yes, yes. <clears throat> Hello, Lolly. How are you doing? Tetsuro, thank you. Katie, thank you. Alice, thank you. Justin, thank you. Severa, thank you. All right, all right, all right. Hello, green team. Marion, hello. Aaron, hello. Okay, great, great, great. Kori, hello. Umesh, hello. All right, all right, all right. Oh, I can't read your name. So nice. Air Lady, thank you. Hello, Air Lady. Hello, green team. How's everyone doing? Olga's here. Yes, Olga. Okay, good. Good to see you all. Yes, it's always good to see you. I'm very happy that you are here with me. Candy, all right, Candy's here. Good, good, good. Marion, all right. Good, Will, hello, Will. All right, all right. Yes, we have a great group as always. Yes, we always have a great group in the house here. Radu, good, 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 good. Your okay, air lady. Thank you, Anna. No, Amna. Sorry, Amna. Okay, good, good, good. Well, um, Emerson, great. Well, we always have a toast before we start, right? We have a toast for good luck. So let's do our toast for good luck. Yes, we need it. The world needs good luck right now. So let's have our toast. We're gonna have two toasts. Yes, two. One toast is for our green team. Yes, you see them. Their names are in green. They support me. They support the channel by supporting me and the channel. They are supporting everyone. So let's give the green team a big thank you. Cheers. If you don't have a um, beverage, we can fist bump, bump, cheers, bump, cheers. And because we had a toast, we have to have a drink. Bottoms up. Mm. All right, our second toast is for you. Yes, without you, there's no reason for me to be here. So let's toast to you. Let's toast to a fun, interesting, informative, and productive lesson today. Cheers, bump, cheers, bump. And because we had a toast, we have to have a drink. Bottoms up. Mm. Ah, yes, Tetsuro. Cheers and bump. <laughs> Okay, good, good, good. Well, um, let's talk about today's lesson plan. It's right here, here it is. We are doing five activities. Yes, we always do five activities. And we will be here for two hours. It sounds like a long time, but it goes very quick. We're always battling the clock. We are always fighting time. Yes, time moves too fast. We want it to slow down, but it doesn't. So here are the um, five activities. We're going to do form a sentence. This is a review from Tuesday. We're going to do which one is different. That is a worksheet. We're going to do a conversation from my book. We're going to do dictation cards. Uh, the sentences were written by the green team. And then we are going to do... Um, we're going to watch a video about 10 very short conversations. So those are the five activities that we're going to do. So let's get right to it. Like I said, we're always um, battling time. So let's go ahead and get to activity number one. And here is my pen. I'm going to write number one to keep um, all the activities in order. So let me write number one right here. There's one, and the first activity is form a sentence. And I believe there are six cards. Let me, let me check. 
One, two, three, four. wait, wait. Yeah, there's six cards. Six cards, so we need um, six places for the six cards. <laughs> okay. And six. Okay, so we have six. I don't like that three. I don't know. My 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 hand kind of kind of um, spazzed out there. So let me do no number three. That was a, a terrible looking number three. Okay, there. That's a little better. A little better. Okay, let me get magnets here. One, two, three, four, five, six. I got six magnets because. You know, the cards won't stay on the board by themselves. No, <clears throat> they need magnets. So the magnets will keep the cards on the board. Okay, so there are six magnets, six cards, <clears throat> and we're going to form a sentence. We're going to make a sentence based on this pattern. And here's our first card right here. What is... The, uh, what is our first word? So the picture represents this word. What is our first word today in this pattern? We did this on Tuesday, so this is a review. Yes, Lolly. What? What is the first word in our in our sentence? So I'm going to go ahead and write what. And then I'm going to put a plus sign because we're adding to the pattern. And here is our second card. Now, we're going to use the past tense. Okay, we're going to talk about um, things that already happened. We're going to talk about things that already happened. So we're going to use the past tense of this auxiliary verb. We're going to use the past tense of this auxiliary verb. And the auxiliary verb makes the verb that follows more clear and certain. Yes, good, good. Yep, that's right, did. So we're going to use did. We're going to talk about what has already happened. So our second, did. What did? Okay, so i put a plus because we're adding to the sentence. Here we go. Here's the third card. And these are, what is our next part? So we have I, you, he, they, we, she. And these words are the, yes, Lolly, good. So um, the subject, the subject of our sentence so the next part is the subject of our sentence, and that can be I, it can be you, it can be he, it can be she, it can be we, it can be they. Okay, so subject. So, so far we have what did you, what did I, what did he, what did they, what did we, what did she. Okay, I'm going to put a plus there because we're adding to the pattern and here we go the next this next word expresses action the next word expresses action what expresses action what expresses action yes verbs express action that is correct verbs express action so the next part of our pattern is a verb, okay, and then our fifth card. So we're not talking about yesterday, we're not talking about tomorrow, what are we talking about? We're not talking about yesterday, we are not talking about tomorrow, what are we talking about? We are not talking about yesterday, we are not talking about tomorrow, we are talking about Today, yes, Anisha. Yes, yeah, so we're going to talk about today. All right, so we're going to talk about today. So here we go. Today. Okay. Today and because what is a question word? 
what goes last. Oh no. So, um, because today, or no, 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 no. Because what is a question word? We need a question mark. Yes, Lolly, good. So, because what is a question word? We need a question mark. So right there we have a question mark. <clears throat> okay, now we're gonna do something a little different. So this is our pattern today. Now, um, what we're gonna do is you're gonna, I'm gonna ask you questions, okay? You're not gonna make questions, you're gonna answer the question, okay? I'm gonna ask you questions, all right? And I'm gonna ask you questions based on topics, okay, on, on situations, okay? So the first situation is breakfast. Okay, for me, here I'm here in Japan, and it is Friday morning, okay? So I know some of you, um, depends where you live, it's different time of the day, right? But um, for this practice, it's gonna be about breakfast, okay? So we're gonna do a few of these topics. Okay, so, uh, okay, let's do breakfast. And we got some verbs that go with it. Eat, make, drink. Okay, now I'm gonna ask you, I'm gonna ask you questions. Okay, and so you're going to answer in the chat. So answer my question, please. Okay, so um, what did you, what did you, right? You guys watching right now, you guys um, in the chat. What did you eat for breakfast today? What did you eat for breakfast today? So please tell me in the chat. What did you eat for breakfast today? I want to know, what did you eat for breakfast today? What did you eat for breakfast today? Please tell me. Yeah, you could say that, Air Lady. What did you have? Um, you could say, what did you have today for your breakfast? Yeah, that's good. Okay, I want to know your answer. Okay, Radu, I ate a bowl of cereal today. Cereals? Did you mix cereals? Is that what you did? So actually, Radu, cereal should be, um, I think of cereal as singular, as uncountable. So maybe... Um, I would say, Radu, I ate a bowl of cereal today. Because you have a bowl, and so, like, like for example, I, I, I drank a glass of milk, right? A glass of milk. And so, you have a bowl, and then you'd have the singular. Like, I had a bowl of fruit. I had a bowl of soup. I had a bowl of yogurt. Okay, Radu? Okay... Okay, Jijo, you are here. So please, Jijo, tell me, what did you eat for breakfast today? Tetsuro, okay, what's your answer? Amna, pizza for breakfast. Wow. Okay, Lolly, I ate some bread for breakfast today. Radu, I ate eggs for breakfast today. Umesh, I haven't had my breakfast yet. Yeah, so it depends on um, what time it is in your country, right? If it's early morning, maybe you haven't had breakfast yet, like Umesh. Dialo, I ate oatmeal for my breakfast. Me too, Dialo. I had oatmeal today too. Okay, I don't know. Anisha, I don't know what that is. Dasha, I don't know what Dasha is. Lolly, I ate some fruit for breakfast today. Whoa, Marion, I ate a burger. Y yeah, so some people, Radu, some people like to say fruits. Some people say fruit. 
Now, a bowl, I had a bowl of fruit. It, it doesn't sound so natural. I had a bowl of fruit. Michelle, I ate assorted cheeses and bread with milk, tea, and three dates. Right, do I ate beans and sausage for breakfast today. That sounds like an English breakfast to me, beans and sausage. That sounds, so the English, I think, have a strange breakfast. They have tomato, like a, 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 a raw tomato, baked beans, uh, a wiener, <laughs> and um, an egg, I think. That's like a traditional English breakfast. I'm not sure. I have never been to England. I would like to go, of course. I'm part English. I'm 25% English. So actually, I'm, I'm four parts. I have, um, I'm part English, I'm part French, I'm part Irish, and Jewish. Let's see. Okay, Fatima had bread. Radu, I ate some fruit for breakfast today. That sounds good to me. Kadeen, I had coffee and some crackers for breakfast. Okay, Umesh, I ate a burger, says Marion. Okay, um, Rosemary, I ate a sandwich and orange juice. Sevra, I had eggs and sausage for breakfast. Air Lady, today my breakfast was very late, so I ate pizza, okay. Actually, when I was a university student, I worked at Domino's Pizza. I delivered pizza when I was a university student, and we would make um, egg pizza. We would, uh, <laughs> we would sometimes um, make, so we'd have just our cheese, pizza and then we crack a few eggs on the pizza and put it through the oven and that would be our breakfast pizza all right <laughs> okay good everyone well no 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 air lady not nationalities i'm american my nationality is american but my bloodline right so like my grandparents came from so so, like, for example, I'm American, and my children, well, and my wife is Japanese, so my children are part um, American and Japanese, but there's also other blood lines, right? So, so like, for example, my family, they came from England, they came from France, they came from Ireland, and... Um, Jewish, which would be maybe Eastern Europe. So, um, so just my bloodline, but my nationality, my passport is American, USA. Okay, good. All right, so let's, um, let's continue. I'm looking at the clock. We're always battling. We are always battling the clock. So I'm going to ask you a different question. So our next topic will be um, exercise. Okay, so that's our next topic, exercise. And so the verbs we're going to use for exercise will be play and do. Okay? So here we go. So please answer the question. What did um, what did you do today? Okay, so the topic is exercise. So your answer should be something that you move, right? Did you go for a walk? Did you play a sport? Did you um, go jogging? Okay, so what did you do today and where the topic is exercise? Okay, so what did you do today? Lama! Oh, don't say sorry. Don't say sorry, air lady. Do not say sorry. 
Lama, I'm making slides and vegetables and coffee today. Slides, what are slides, Lama? Oh, Lolly, I played football today. Okay, what did you do today? And the topic is exercise. So your answer, something with um, moving. Yeah, maybe you did some yoga today. Maybe you jumped rope today. What did you do today? And the topic is exercise. For example, Lolly said she played football today. Oh, and she did yoga today. So Lolly has been very active today, very active. She played football, she did yoga, very good. <laughs> Tessera, I got up at 4 a.m. for exercise. Go, go running. That's very early, Tetsuro. But that's healthy, good for you. Alice, what did you do? Or, or, you don't need do there, Alice. What did, or, um, what exercise did you do today? So, your, your, the question, um, what exercise did you do today? But if you, you can just say, what did you do today? And if we're talking about exercising, right? Hey, do you like exercising? Yes, I do. Oh, what did you do today? Hey, um, my, my, uh, me and my friends, or my friends and I, we are always exercising. Oh, what did you do today? So the topic is exercise. And so please answer um, with that in mind. Please make your answer um, with that. Okay, Radu, I played basketball today. Okay, now, Lolly says, I played chess today. So, I guess um, Lolly is exercising her mind. Lolly is exercising her brain. Oh, Radu, I swam today. That's good exercise. Okay, oh, okay, Air Lady, I did a running machine. So, maybe that's treadmill. So, we would say, um, Air Lady, I, I went... Or I ran on the treadmill. I ran on the treadmill. I ran on the treadmill. Marin, um, I went swimming today. So I swimming today. We you need um, that the swimming is a noun. That is a um, a, a a a gerund. So you need a verb. I went swimming. Okay, see now Tetsuro, good. I went for a walk today. So Marion, you need that went in your sentence. Okay, Rosemary, I was walking. Okay, I was walking to my job. You don't need the ing, Rosemary. Okay, so what did you do today? So we're using just the, the simple past. So I walked to my job. So just I walked to my job. That's a good sentence. Oh, really? Okay, Michelle. Thank you, Michelle. Kidding. I clean my house. Now that can be exercise, cleaning your house, right? Like scrubbing and, and um, yeah, so that can be exercise. <laughs> You're welcome, Radu, anytime. You can use my yoga studio anytime. <laughs> yes, Radu, you know about my yoga studio. Yeah, I have a very big house with a yoga studio. And I invite anybody could come over and use my yoga studio. No problem. Oh, yo, uh, uh, Candy, I did ballet today. So you don't need exercise there, Candy. You could say, I did ballet today. I did ballet today. Severa, I planted roses today. Dialo, I'll be going for a walk for my exercise this morning. Okay, so Dialo, um, maybe it's early. So um, Dialo will be going for a walk. Oh, Radu, I ran in a forest today. You're 
back to nature. So Radu got back to nature. Okay, Nui, I played tennis today. Flower, I did yoga. So we're past, right? So it's already happened. It's already happened. What did you do today? So it already happened. Okay, good. Okay, um, Tetsuro, I did push-ups. Marion, I went swimming today. Good. I played te table tennis today, Marion. Okay. Okay, Air Lady, I ran on the treadmill today. So, so it already happened, Air Lady, so it should be ran, R-A-N, R-A-N, because it already finished. Okay, um, Corey, shopping is not exercise. <laughs> oh, Lolly is very interesting today. So Lolly played soccer or played football. She did yoga and she went fishing today. So very interesting. Okay, well, um, I'm looking at the clock. Time is going by too fast. So um, I'm just going to put some topics on the board and um, we, we won't have time to practice. But what I will do, I will take a picture of the whiteboard so you can go back anytime and have a look for practice on your own. And I will take a picture. When we're finished today, I will take a picture of the whiteboard and then put it on my Facebook group page, Mark Kulik English Speaking Practice. So if you join my Facebook group page, you can see all the whiteboards there, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and just write some topics and verbs that go with this pattern. We won't have time to go over it because we have other things to do. So we have exercise, we have entertainment. Okay, so entertainment, we can say um, the verbs watch, read, listen to, and then um, shopping, buy, get, uh, work, do, okay, so breakfast, we could, you know, meals, right, so these are meals, um, breakfast, breakfast, lunch, and dinner, those are meals, and like, what did you eat today, what did you make today, what did you drink today, entertainment, Right, so that could be um, uh, watch TV, read the paper, read a magazine, listen to the radio, listen to music, right? Entertainment, exercise, play, do, shopping, buy, get, work, do. What did you do at work today? Oh, I did a report. I did um, some graphs. I did some paperwork, right? So... Um, these go with this pattern. These topics and verbs go with this pattern. Okay, good job everyone. It's time to move on. I ran on the treadmill today. Good air lady. Good, good, good. Okay, let's go now. Yeah, Candy, I did ballet today. Good, 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 good. Okay, Michelle, I, I did not do physical exercise, exercise, only intellectual brain. Uh, I studied English too today. Yep, brain exercise, very important. We also need to exercise our brain. And you're doing that now by um, practicing your English, yes. Okay, let's go to activity number two, shall we? There's one. And here we go, number two. And number two is, which one is different? Which one is different? And this is going to be a worksheet. 
and you can find my worksheet right here on my homepage, my YouTube homepage. Go to the community tab and there you will see this. Also on my Patreon page, there are lots of worksheets, so you go there to get it. Also, I have a book, which one is different, and that's all about this, right? These kind of activities. So if you like doing these activities, I have a book, I have website, I have Patreon. So lots of practice for you. And everything is in the descriptions below. All the links are below for you to check out. Okay, so um, which one is different? And this activity, I'm going to give you four things and you can tell me which one is different and why. For example, if I say red, blue, bicycle, pink, red, blue, bicycle, pink, which one is different? Yes, bicycle is different because, which is the most important, right? The reason why, because it's transportation, the other three are colors, right? So that's how we do it. Now I'm going to put the worksheet on the screen so everyone can see. So for example, like I said, you can get it on my YouTube homepage, community, Patreon, yeah? And I will also put it here on the screen so you can have a look. So here we go. I'm going to pop it up so we can look at it together. There it is. And let's enlarge it. Let's make it bigger, shall we? There we go. And the topic is food. And so here we go. Our first. Okay, group one keywords. Group one keywords. We got ham, shrimp, chicken, and beef. Ham, shrimp, chicken, beef. Which one is different and why? Oh, Raphael, nice. Raphael, building his muscles. Okay, Lolly is on the board. Lolly says, a shrimp is different because it lives in water. I like it, I like it. Ava, hello Ava. Mwah, good to see Ava in the house. How are you, Ava? Okay, I like Lolly's answer. Shrimp because it lives in the water. Several, I think shrimp because it's a sea animal. Or you could say sea creature. Yeah, it's a sea creature. It's a sea animal. Good. Radu says shrimp because it is food that comes from an aquatic animal. Air Lady, I think the shrimp because it's from water. Okay, everyone's doing the sea thing. Everyone's doing the sea thing. Got lots of shrimp. Okay, Sevra says chicken because it has wings. Nice, see? There are many, many answers. Very good, Sevra. I think chicken because it has wings. All right, lolly ham because it allowed, it's allowed to eat it by some religion. Oh, it's not. Actually, that should be not. I think the uh, pork is not eaten by Muslims and Jews. I think they both don't eat pork. Okay, Umesh, I don't know them because I am vegetarian. Hello, Zufar. Air Lady, uh, a pepper because the other thing is sweet. Okay, Air Lady, not yet. We're still doing group one. Okay, Air Lady, we're still doing group one. Kidding, I think shrimp because it's a crustacean. Yeah, crustacean has a shell. 
nice Katie. Lolly shrimp because it has no bone in it. Yeah, so it's a crustacean, so it has a shell, not bones. Very good. So lots of answers. A shrimp because it doesn't cry. Okay. Ava, I Okay, I don't know what that word is. Oh. Oh, fine. Okay, I'm fine. A little tired. Yeah. So, um, Ava, it's early morning for Ava. Yeah, so um, the hen is the only one that has a wing. Good. Marion, I think shrimp because they grow in water. Alice, I think ham because it doesn't cook. Ah, uh, yeah, no, it cooks. Alice, ham, that cooks. Katie, I think ham because it smoked. Okay, okay, but actually, we smoke chicken, smoke beef, all those we can smoke. Actually, I like, I like putting all those on the barbecue. For smoking, yeah, I think all of those can be smoked. Yeah, Ava, chicken because it is a bird. Okay, Lolly says chicken because there are a lot of bones in it. Air Lady, I think ham because, oh, it's from pork. Good. Okay, Air Lady, good. Okay, flour, I think ham because ham just eats, but the others were heated. Oh, okay, so like cold, you could have cold ham. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I understand now. You can just eat it cold, like for a sandwich, right? Ham sandwich, the ham is cold. Very good. Ava, shrimp because I have never eaten it. Whoa, 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 whoa. Ava, you have never had shrimp? That is incredible, Ava. What? Why? What, in the Czech, there's no shrimp in the Czech Republic? You don't have shrimp? Lolly ham because you don't need to cook it before eating. Ah, uh, I think you do. Or, or I guess maybe it can be processed or something. I'm not sure. I don't think you could have. Maybe I don't know. I, I don't. I don't know about that. Yeah, Radu, smoke is the best. Smoked is the best. Raphael, we can argue over what the sound does, the shrimp does. Ah, okay, yeah, like a butterfly. Yeah, I'm sure there's, do they have a mouth? Yeah, they have a mouth. Or Yeah, so they must produce some kind of sound, right? Okay, so... Lolly says chicken because it is my favorite meat. So there's no wrong answers. It's, you know, it's which one you think is different and why. So no wrong answers. Okay, nice. Well, um, Umesh. Ham comes from pigs. So pigs have young ones. So um, chicken and shrimp come from eggs. And um, beef and ham do not, they're not from eggs. They're born, they're born they're mammals. Okay. Lolly says a steak, a steak 
because it's easy to cook. Okay, so, so beef because it's easy to cook. How about that? Beef because it's easy to cook. It, it is easy and it's delicious. Okay, let's go. Good job, everyone. Oh, okay, good, Kayleen. I think shrimp because it's the smallest. It's the smallest. Okay, yeah, see, you guys are coming up with great answers. Tetsuro, it's, it's shrimp. It's a shrimp because it has many legs. Oh, dang. Shrimp, when it's cooked, it turns red. Okay, let's go to group two. Here we go. Group two, everybody. Okay, group two key words. A pepper, ice cream, pancakes, a cupcake. Which one is different and why? Group two now. Okay, Lolly, pepper because it's a vegetable. Yeah, I like it. Good, 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 good. Okay, our group two key words are a pepper, ice cream, pancakes, a cupcake. Severa, I think pepper because it is not sweet. Good. Pepper is spicy. Kadeen, I think shrimp because it's small, the smallest. So Kadeen, you need the smallest. So with with um, superlatives, like the biggest, the smallest, the best, the worst, the tallest, right? So the Empire State Building used to be the tallest building in the world. Used to be, but not anymore. So with those superlatives, can you, you need the, T-H-E, in front. Okay, Lolly, ice cream because you eat it frozen. Very good. Yeah, Umesh, a pepper because it's a spice. Okay, what I do? Pancakes because they have a round shape. Nice. Well, cupcake has a round shape too. What I do? Do you, have you seen a square cupcake? <laughs> have you seen a triangular cupcake? Have you seen an oval cupcake? No, cupcakes are round. Oh, Tetsuro ice cream because it is cold. Severa, I think ice cream because it's cold. Marion, I think Pepper, because it's not confectionery. It's not a confectionery product. I, but confectionery, isn't that like candy? Or a bake? Confectionery. I think that's, I'm not sure what, what is the, what makes, what, what are, Let's see. Yeah, I think it's like sweets and candy. Yeah. So I don't know if, if pancakes are confectionery and maybe ice cream it's sweet, cupcake, those could be confectionery. Yeah, like like a sweet shop. Right? They sell they sell candy, they sell cupcakes, they sell ice cream. But I wouldn't consider maybe pancakes, you're right. Maybe, you know. Like, um, dryaki. Ne Tetsuro. Tetsuro knows dryaki. That's kind of a Japanese confectionery pancake with sweet beans inside. Draimon loves his, his dryaki. Draimon. Do you know Draimon, everybody? Draimon. He's a Japanese character animation character he's a robot from the future and he's got a his he's got a door that he he could go anywhere the doko demo door anywhere you can go anywhere 
Do you know Doraemon, everybody? And he loves Dryaki, which is a Japanese. Two pancakes. Inside the pancake is sweet beans. They're good. I like Dryaki. Severa, I think ice cream because there is no P. Pepper, there's a P. Pancakes has a P. Cupcake, cupcake has a P. But ice cream, there's no P. Very good. Oh, I like it, Katie. Very creative. Katie says, I think a pepper because it's not in a recipe. That's right. It's whole. It is a whole. It's just what it is. And so it grows. But ice cream, you have to make. Pancakes, you have to make. Cupcake, you have to make. There are ingredients in those. Very good, Katie. I like it. Radu pancakes because they are the largest. Ava, pancakes because um, they're cooked in a pan. They're cooked in a pan. Oh, Raphael, very good. Right, ice cream will melt. Dang, ice cream because it needs a refrigerator to store. That's right. Lolly, pancakes because you can eat it with Sweet food like honey, marmalade, syrup, right? Uh, 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 maple syrup. I like maple syrup on my pancakes. Okay. Yeah, so Tetsuro knows dryaki. Yummy. So. Ah, Lolly. Pancakes because all children like them. I like them too. Me too, Lolly. I like pancakes very much. Oh, Severa, I think pancakes because it's not singular. Nice, yeah. Yeah, Tessera, I think ice cream because it melts. Okay, good, let's, I'm looking at the clock. We're always running low, running behind. Ah, dang, a pepper because it can be dried, very good. Okay, let's go to part two. Step two, everyone. Three, three words in one sentence. Yes, ready? Three words, one sentence. Three words, one sentence. For example, let's buy shrimp, chicken, and beef for the barbecue. You got three words in one sentence. Shrimp, chicken, beef. In one sentence, let's buy shrimp, chicken, and beef for the barbecue. <clears throat> so, let's see your sentence with three of the key words in one sentence. Three key words, one sentence. Three key words, one sentence. In the chat, please. Ava, ice cream, because it's fresh in the summer. Yes, ice cream is best in summer, for sure. Radu is on the board. He has ham, chicken, and beef in his fridge. Katie, I went to the supermarket to buy shrimp, chicken, and beef. <clears throat> Lolly, I prefer shrimp to meat, like chicken, ham, and beef. Oh, I like that sentence, Lolly. Mwah, big kiss for that one. Sebra, it was not a good idea to add pepper in the cupcake and ice cream. I like that too, Sebra. <clears throat> big kiss for that creative sentence. Tetsuro, they prepared ham, shrimp, and chicken for the party. You guys are doing excellent. Radu, he enjoys eating ham, but he doesn't enjoy eating chicken and beef. Marion, ham, chicken, or beef on a bed of carrots is the in the oven. In the oven are a delight. Good appetite. Okay, let's see. Ham, chicken, or beef on a bed of carrots in the oven. In the oven, Marianne. 
<laughs> Radu, he doesn't like shrimp, chicken, and beef at all. Umesh, shrimp, chicken, beef, shrimp. Okay, Umesh, shrimp is not raised on a farm. Chicken, so cows, cows, chickens, and pigs are raised on a farm, but not shrimp. Okay, Dialo, I always have beef, chicken, and shrimp in my refrigerator. Yeah, Marion, in the oven. Okay. Raphael says, I ate an ice cream flavored cheese with pepper jam last Sunday, real story. By the way, cheese comes from cows. <laughs> nice, Raphael. Let me see. I ate ice cream flavored cheese with pepper jam. Whoa, ice cream flavored cheese. Interesting. I like, I like, um, my cheeses I like to be, you know, like blue cheese, kind of like, um, not sweet cheese, you know, I, I, I like my cheese to be kind of um, savory, I guess, not sweet. But I do like, I like pepper cheese, I like, I like pepper cheese and um, blue cheese. I, I like cream cheese, I like many, yeah, I, I probably would. I've never tried an ice cream flavored cheese, but I'm sure I would like it. I like all cheeses, actually. Lolly says, I like pepper, but I prefer sweet food like ice cream, pancakes, and cupcakes. Okay, Michelle, let's go to my restaurant and order ice cream, cupcake, and pancake, and add a drink, and let's eat, let's and, okay, with Arabic coffee. Okay, Michelle, let's go to my restaurant and order ice cream, uh, a cupcake, pancakes, and Arabic coffee, and have Arabic coffee. Air lady, I bought shrimp to eat today, and I will freeze the chicken and barbecue. So Erle, I bought shrimp to eat today, to, to eat. Not for eat, but to eat. Suma, hello, Suma, hello, hello. Okay, Marion, ice cream, pancakes, and cupcakes are common desserts. Umesh, I... Okay, I ate pancakes, a cupcake, and ice cream for breakfast. Wow, Umesh. Dang, I went to the grocery. I went to the grocery shopping to pick up some beef, ham, and peppers for my mom. Very, you're, that's very kind of you. Ava, I like to eat sweets like ice cream, pancakes, and a cupcake. Raphael. Ah. Okay, no problem, Raphael. I understood. Let's see. I tried to say I ate ice cream and fla and the flavor of ice cream was cheese with Ah, okay. So not ice cream flavored cheese. Yeah, that that would I've never I've never seen cheese like that. So okay, um let's see Raphael, I tried to okay, so you ate ice cream and had yeah, pepper cheese. Like pepper jack cheese. Yeah, I think that's the most common, Raphael. Pepper jack. 
So like the jack cheese, the white cheese, and they put little um, pepper flakes in the cheese, and that's very good. So yeah, so you can say I had ice cream and pepper cheese, pepper cheese. So Raphael, I had ice cream and pepper cheese. I like pepper cheese with apples. I like pepper cheese with apples. Okay, I'm looking at the clock. We got to change activity. It's, it's 11 already. It's been an hour. Can't believe it. Okay, uh, Ava says, my husband bought ice cream, cupcakes, and I cook pancakes. Okay, good. We got to, um, we got to. We got to go to our next activity. There's no time. Okay, good job, everyone. Um, this worksheet is on my um, YouTube homepage. You can find it in the community tab. Also, I have a Patreon page. So um, anyways, the links are below. Actually, the link to get this worksheet on my homepage is below, listed below. So um, if if you like it, go ahead and do it. There's also a book on Amazon.com with lots of these activities. Okay, so let, let's go ahead and move on. Let's move on here. <clears throat> let's say goodbye to the worksheet. Bye-bye worksheet. Bye-bye. Okay, let's go to activity number three now. Number three. Number three. Here we go. Um, number three is conversation from my book. Here we go. 50 very short conversations, book number two. And that's what we're going to do right now. We're going to do conversation. So let me go ahead and write conversation. Okay, so let's practice a conversation together. And today's conversation is book on, in book two, page 20. Page 20. And this is conversation 15. Conversation 15 on page 20. Okay, Raphael. I got it. Pepper cheese ice cream. There you go. <laughs> cheers, Mwah. Raphael, cheers, buddy. <laughs> okay, that is pepper cheese ice cream. That, actually, I like cheesecake ice cream. <laughs> I like cheesecake ice cream. I've never had pepper cheese ice cream. That's interesting. Okay, good. Okay, um, we're going to do a conversation. Um, step one, I'm going to read the conversation. Then... I will write the conversation on the board, and then we will practice the conversation together, okay? So step one, I'm gonna read the conversation. Step two, I'm gonna write it on the board. And step three, we're gonna practice it together, okay? So here we go. So, um... <laughs> Raphael, hey, Raphael, buddy, it's all in the, the fight. Yes, it's all about the fight. And um, it makes you stronger, Raphael. So you had a fight through that, but you did it. Yes, I understand perfectly. So uh, pepper cheese ice cream, I understand it perfectly. And it's all about the fight. It's all about the struggle, buddy. That's why, that's what makes life fun. It's the struggle. If, if everything was easy, then we would just be bored, right? We, we would be bored if things were easy. So, um, mwah, cheers to you. Okay, here we go. Conversation. Countdown, five, four, three, two, one. These chairs don't fit here. What do you mean? They look too big. These are great chairs. I don't like them. These chairs are fine here. <laughs> okay, here we go. One more time. Second time. These chairs don't fit here. 
What do you mean? They look too big. These chairs, these are great chairs. I don't like them. These chairs are fine here. Okay, here we go. We do things in threes. Yes, th three times is the charm. Thank you, Lolly. <laughs> here we go, third time. These chairs don't fit here. What do you mean? They look too big. These are great chairs. I don't like them. These chairs are fine here. <laughs> okay, I'm going to write the conversation on the board. I'm going to show you the picture, give you the context. Okay, so it starts here and then it goes down. Okay, so here's the conversation. I'm going to write it on the board, <laughs> write the conversation on the board, and then we're going to practice it together. Here we go. A. Person A, these chairs don't fit here. These chairs don't fit here. Are we, on, are we still on screen? Yeah. These chairs don't fit here. B says, what do you mean? What? do you mean? A says, they look too big. They look too big. B says, these are great chairs. These are Great chairs. A says, I don't like them. I don't like them. B says, these chairs are fine here. These chairs are fine here. Okay, there's the conversation. Let's talk about the conversation, yeah? Let's talk about the meaning and then we will practice it together, okay? So here we go. A, these chairs don't fit here. So you can see, so you can see the picture. And A says, these chairs don't fit here. These chairs don't fit here. So that means they don't really, maybe, you know, they, they don't belong. The, the, the set, it doesn't look right. Uh, maybe the, the colors aren't right. The, the style isn't right. The size isn't right. So these chairs don't fit here. So these are the wrong chairs for this room. So these chairs are the wrong, or these are the wrong chairs for this room. These are the wrong chairs for this room. What do you mean? What do you mean? So I don't understand. Why did you say these chairs don't fit here? What do you mean by that? I don't understand you. What do you mean? They look too big. They look too big. So you walk in and go, whoa, these chairs look too big. Maybe too big for the table. They look too big for the room. Okay, they, so uh, A says, they look too big. And then B says, they are great chairs. These are great chairs. Yeah, these are comfortable. They look good. They feel good. They're great chairs. A says, I don't like them. I don't like them. So. A says, they don't fit, they look too big, I don't like them. And then B says, these chairs are fine here. Don't, don't worry, don't be so picky, don't be so, um, don't be uh, uh, judgmental, 
don't don't worry about it they are fine they are comfortable they look fine there's no problem with these chairs these chairs are fine no problem okay so that's the meaning so now let's let's practice um, fluency will go slowly and quickly okay so let's say the conversation together ready these chairs don't fit here 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 what do you mean what do you mean what do you mean they look too big they look too big they look too big these are great chairs these are great chairs these are great chairs these are great chairs i don't like them i don't like them i don't like them i don't like them these chairs are fine here these chairs are fine here these chairs are fine here <laughs> okay good good don't be so picky that's right lolly so B says, don't be so picky. B says, don't be so picky. They are fine. Okay, good. Now, let's role play, okay? So I will be A and you're B. A, B, A, B, okay? So I'm gonna say A and you say B, okay? So let's do it. Countdown, here we go. Countdown, five, four, three, two, one. These chairs don't fit here. They look too big. I don't like them. Let's get rid of them. No more chairs. Get these chairs. New chairs. I want new chairs. <laughs> okay, here we go. Second time. Countdown. Five, four, three, two, one. These chairs don't fit here. They look too big. I don't like them. Let's get new chairs. I want new chairs. <laughs> okay, third time is a charm. Here we go. Countdown. Five, four, three, two, one. These chairs don't fit here. They look too big. I don't like them. No, let's get new ones. No, let's get new ones. <laughs> okay, now it's time to switch. You are A, I am B. A, B, A, B. Are you ready? Here we go. You start. You are A. Oh, welcome back, Leonardo. Hello. Welcome back to the green team. Woohoo. Good to see Leonardo. Mwah. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you so much. Welcome back to the green team. Yes. Here we go. You are A, I am B. Countdown. Five, four, three, two, one. Go. What do you mean? These are great chairs. These chairs are fine here. <laughs> Okay, good. Now, here is the second time. Countdown. You are A, I am B. Five, four, three, two, one, go. What do you mean? These are great chairs. These chairs are fine here. <laughs> okay, here we go. Third time is the charm. Countdown. Five, four, three, two, one, go. You are A. What do you mean? These are great chairs. These chairs are fine here. <laughs> okay, good job, everyone. Yes, we did the conversation. Yes, we did. Okay, and the conversation came from the book right here, book number two. And you can get your own copy at Amazon.com. The link is below. Okay. Let's move on. Here we go. Dictation cards. Here are the cards. Step four. Step four. We got 
one, we got two, we got three, and four is, four is dictation. Dictation. And our topic today is else, else, else. else. Now we can say otherwise instead. So otherwise um, instead okay and we are going to do four steps. Step one of course is dictation. Step two, shadow. Step three, meaning. Step four, quiz. Ugh. Okay, we're running out of whiteboard. The whiteboard is almost full. Okay, here we go, dictation. So that means you need a pencil and you need paper because you're going to listen and write down what I say word for word, okay? So please get a pencil, please get paper. Step one is dictation, that is listening and writing. That's right, Lolly, thank you. You can see the chat, Lolly says, pencil and paper, ready, topic, else. And these cards were done by the green team, yeah, like, Right now, Leonardo is green, yeah? So, they're the members. They did the cards, they did the sentences, and today's cards were done by Sonara, Marion, myself, Lolly, Miley, Rita, Fabriso, and we have today one, two, three, four, five, six, Seven cards today. <clears throat> we have seven cards today. Ava says, oh no, I forgot. So any green team member, you can do it. You can do it. If you're on the green team, if your name is green, you can do the dictation cards. It's open for everybody on the green team. Okay, here we go. Step one, are you ready? Yes? Okay, let's count down to dictation time. Count down, five, four, three, two, one. Here we go, card number one. Would you like some coffee or something else? Okay, second time, we're gonna do each card three times. I'm gonna read it three times. Each card, I will read three times. Second time, would you like some coffee or something else? Here we go, third time. Would you like some coffee or something else? Okay, card number two. Card number two. Is that Joe in the picture? Yes, who else? Second time. Is that Joe in the picture? Yes, who else? Third time, is that Joe in the picture? 
Yes, who else? Third time. Or no, 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 no. Third card. <laughs> card number three. <clears throat> Can we get someone else on the team? Okay, second time. Can't we get someone else on the team? Okay, third time. Can't we get someone else on the team? Card number four. Thousands of dead people. What else does it take to ask for peace? Okay, here we go, a second time. Thousands of dead people. What else does it take to ask for peace? Third time. Thousands of dead people. What else does it take to ask for peace? Card number five. No comment. I have nothing else to say about that. Second time. No comment. I have nothing else to say about that. Okay, third time. No comment. I have nothing else to say about that. Okay, card number six. I'll take my umbrella or else I'll get wet. Second time. I'll take my umbrella or else I'll get wet. Third time. I'll take my umbrella or else 
I'll get wet. Number seven, last card. Number seven, last card. I love studying English more than anything else. Christine, hello. Second time. I love studying English more than anything else. Yeah, you can do that. Raf or who is that? Michelle? Wait, wait, who who has Raphael, yes. I'll take my umbrella or else I'll get wet. Or I'll get Yeah. They both have the same meaning. I'll take my umbrella or I'll get wet. Well, actually, not exactly, Raphael. I'll take my umbrella or I'll get, that doesn't sound strange. That doesn't, so, um, it has to be like a, a negative. If I don't take my umbrella, I'll get wet. Okay, if I don't take my umbrella, I'll get wet. Um, I'll take my umbrella or else I'll get wet. So for you, for to take, for no else, you need to make the first part negative. Okay, here we go. Um, card, last card, second, no, third time maybe, third time. I love studying English more than anything else. Okay, that was part one, dictation. Let's check it off because you did it. Okay, now part two is shadowing. This is speaking practice, yeah? Not writing practice, but speaking practice, all right? So let's say these sentences together, all right? And then I will show you the card, you will see the sentence, and we will talk about the meaning, okay? So we will shadow and talk about the meaning, all right? So here we go, shadowing time. Five, four, three, two, one, here we go. <clears throat> Would you like some coffee or something else? Would you like some coffee or something else? Would you like some coffee or something else? Okay, this is Sonara and offering, right? Sonara's offering some drinks. Would you like some coffee or something else? So if you don't want coffee, would you like something instead? Instead of coffee, would you like, instead of coffee, would you like, um, Water instead of coffee, would you like cola instead of coffee? Would you like a beer? Some okay, so would you like some coffee or something else? Okay, here we go. Card number two is that Joe in the picture? Yes, who else <laughs> is that Joe in the picture? Yes, who else is that Joe in the picture? Yes. Who else? Okay, so this is Marion's sentence. Is that Joe in the picture? Yes, who else? Is that Joe in the picture? Yes, who else? So it couldn't be anyone else. It could only be Joe. So it couldn't be anyone else. It couldn't be another person. It couldn't be um, it, it can only be Joe. Who else? Of course. Who else? Okay, here we go. Number three. Or card number three. Sorry. Card number three. K 
Can't we get someone else on the team? Can't we get someone else on the team? Can't we get someone else on the team? Now, I, I, I think people didn't hear the, the t can't, can't, can't we get? So I guess by saying it quickly, it sounds like can, right? Can't we get someone else? Can't we get some? So, uh, so C kind of has two sounds like ka ka k ka ka k k. So in the negative, the C sounds more like a K. Can't, can't, can't. Can't we get someone else? Can't we get someone else? Can't we get someone else? So I think that's yes we can. Yes we can. Yes we can. Can't we get someone else? Can't we get someone else? Yes, we can. Yes, we can. So the, the positive, yes, we can. We have the k sound. And the negative, we have the k sound, like, like k, mark. So my, my name is M-A-R-K, mark. And um, can't, can't. Can't we get someone else on the team? Can't. So I think people didn't hear the, the t. I didn't really, can't, can't, can't we get some. So if I, if I just say can't, can't, no problem. But if we make a sentence, it kind of, it, it kind of blends to the next word. Can't we get someone else? Can't we get someone else? Okay. Oh, and this means, um, like, no one else wants to play? No one else wants to play? Really? No one else wants to play? Really? Okay, here we go. Number four, card number four. Thousands of dead people. What else does it take to ask for peace? Thousands of dead people. What else does it take to ask for peace? Leonardo... Thank you, buddy. Thank you. Thank you. Thousands of dead people. What else does it take to ask for peace? Yeah, it's hard, right? So Lolly says it's hard to hear can and can't, especially in the sentence, right? In, in isolation, only saying can, can't, can, can't, can, can't. Maybe it's but in a sentence, it, it's more difficult, right? Can't we get someone else? Can't we get someone else? Yeah, it's difficult for sure. Okay, this is Miley. Thousands of dead people. What else does it take to ask for peace? So Miley is an activist. She, Miley, in her free time, she is um, active. She, she's uh, protesting for peace and love. And so, so this is what Miley does. She is a um, campaigner for peace and love. And so this is Miley's, especially these days, right? So Miley's very concerned about um, war and she wants peace and love. So I think we all want peace and love. Yes. Mwah. Okay, here we go. Number five. No comment. I have nothing else to say about that. No comment. I have nothing else to say about that. No comment. I have nothing else to say about that. Of course, right, Leonardo? We want love and peace, of course. This is Rita. No comment. I have nothing else to say about that. So I have no other thing to say. So no comment. I have nothing else to say about that. So just by saying no comment is saying something, right? So when you hear someone say no comment, there's something in that, right? Okay, here we go. Number six. Number six. 
I'll take my umbrella or else I'll get wet. I'll take my umbrella or else I'll get wet. I'll take my umbrella or else I'll get wet. Okay, this is Fabricio. So, I'll take my umbrella or else I'll get wet. So, the circumstances. So, if he doesn't take his umbrella, he will get wet. So, I'll take my umbrella or else I'll get wet. So, a result, right? So, this is a result. So, or else. So, for example, maybe, you know, a mother say, you know, you behave or else. You, you eat your vegetables or else. So if you don't do that, there will be consequences. Something will happen, right? So um, here, for example, um, he will take his umbrella or else. The consequences, the result will be he will get wet. So if he doesn't do it, he will get wet, yeah? So I'll take my umbrella or else I'll get wet. So the consequences would be he would get wet, right? If the boy doesn't eat his vegetables, the consequences will be he will not be healthy. If, if the boy acts poorly, if the boy acts badly, the consequences will be he will be in trouble, right? So, or else. So, so if you might hear something like, you don't do that or else, right? The consequences will be bad. Okay, here we go. Number... Seven. Here we go. Number seven. Last card. I love studying English more than anything else. I love studying English more than anything else. I love studying English more than anything else. Okay, this is Lolly. Her sentence. I love studying English more than anything else. So this is like, she, this is number one for her. She likes studying English. This is her number one hobby. I love studying English more than anything else. Okay, good, good, good. Okay, Raphael, he's... Got questions about number six here. This is Raphael. He says, so the only word or isn't sufficient in the number. I need else. Okay, now, or that is a result going to happen. Okay, so uh, an or is a result. Okay. Um, and our first part is I'll take my umbrella. Okay. And the consequences would be I'll get wet. Okay. So it needs to be negative. If you don't want else, it needs to be negative. The first part needs to be negative. So, um, if I don't take my umbrella, I'll get wet. Okay, I'll take my umbrella or I'll get wet. Yeah, okay, you can say that. Okay, I see, Raphael. I'll take my umbrella or I'll get wet. Okay, yeah, you can do that. I'll take my umbrella or I'll get wet. Yeah, I, I, I like the else here in this situation because it, it gives it more, um, it, it gives it, more emphasis, more emphasis, right? I'll take my umbrella or else, right? There's going to be, remember, more else, there's going to be negative consequences, right? So if you tell a boy, you know, behave or else, right? Be good or else. And so if you're not good, there's going to be a negative consequence. There's going to be something will happen in a bad way, right? You will be grounded, I will spank you, you will be in trouble, right? So the or else gives it more emphasis, it gives it more um, power, okay? 
Okay, good, good, good. That was... There you go, Raphael. Okay, that was shadow and meaning. Okay, so let's do our quiz now. So how the quiz works, I'm going to shuffle the cards. And I'm going to show you a picture and you have to write the sentence based on the picture. Based on the picture, okay? So I'm mixing the cards so we don't know what the first card's going to be. It's a secret. It's a quiz, right? So um, I'm shuffling. Okay, I shuffled the cards. Now I'm going to choose three cards and I'm going to show you the picture only. So you have to write the sentence based on the picture. Okay, here we go. Card number one. Do you remember the sentence? This is Marion's. So please write the sentence in the chat. Write the sentence in the chat. Do you remember the sentence? Write the sentence in the chat. Do you remember? Okay, Lolly's on the board. Is that Joe in the picture? Yes, who else? Marion, <laughs> is that Joe in the picture? Yes, who else? Tetsuro, is that Joe in the picture? Yes, who else? Kadeen, is that Joe in the picture? Yes, who else? Good, good, good. Okay, Severa, good candy. Julia, hello, Julia. How are you doing? Mwah, Julia's here. How are you, Julia? Is that Joe in the picture? Yes, who else? Suma, is that Joe in the picture? Yes, who else? Ava, is that Joe in the picture? Yes, who else? Okay, very good. Let's have a look at it. Is that Joe in the picture? Yes. Who else? Very good. Okay, here we go. Card number two. This is my card, so I want to use the, the green team's cards, not mine. Okay, here we go. This is a long one, but it's, it's a good one. Long. Here we go. Do you remember? This is Miley. This is... Miley's picture. Write the sentence in the chat. Amy, good. Olga, good. Okay, here we go. Number two. Write the sentence in the chat. Do you remember the sentence? It's a little long. So just don't don't worry if it's not exactly what what's the 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 you know the the meaning what's the main meaning so it's a long sentence but just do do the best you can okay Raphael says thousands of dead thousands of people dead what else does it take to Ask for peace. Marion, thousands of dead people. What else does it take to ask for peace? Ava. Yeah, the sentence about peace and love in, in the world. Mwah. Yeah, so that's what, do, great, Ava. So you know the meaning. So that's the most important thing, right, Ava? Understand the meaning. Understand the the. The sentence yes and you do 
Severa, thousands of dead people. What else more can we ask for peace? Kating, thousands of dead people. What else does it take to ask for peace? Lolly, thousands of dead people. What else does it take to ask for peace? Tetsuo, thousands of dead people. What else does it take to ask for peace? Okay, here we go. Let's look at the sentence. This is Miley's. Thousands of dead people. What else does it take to ask for peace? Okay, nice. Here we go. Card number three. All right, so what is the sentence? Yeah, Ava, in the world. So we need peace and love in the world. Good, Ava. Okay, this is Sonara. Do you remember Sonara's sentence? Oh, Kating. Oh, no. Okay, we're going to do that after this. Kating, as soon as we're done with this one card, we're going to do the poll. Thank you, Kating. I forgot. I'm always forgetting the poll. Oh, my. Oh, my. Oh, my. Oh, my. Oh, my. Here we go. Do you remember the sentence? Write the sentence in the chat. This is Sonara's sentence. Okay, Severa. Would you like coffee or something else? Lolly, would you like coffee or something else? Marion, would you like coffee or something else? Everyone, okay, no problem. And this is very, very useful. This is a great sentence. Because you can use this when people come over to visit you, right? When you have someone come to your house for a visit. Maybe they come to your house for a barbecue. Maybe they come to your house for a party, right? And so this is a great way to ask someone, offer someone something. Would you like coffee or something else? Would you like a beer or something else? Would you like wine or something else? Would you like a would you like cola or something else? Right? So it's very useful, very practical. It's used very often. Would you like some coffee or something else? Very good, everyone. Mwah. Well done as always. Well done as always. Yes, yes, yes. Today we did else, the green team. They wrote these sentences. Well done, green team. Mwah. Well done. Okay, let's mark it off as done. Okay, well, that was number four. We got one more activity, number five, and that is a video. I'm going to put five right here. Number five is ten. Very short conversations video however before we do the video we're going to do the poll yeah so thank you Katie for reminding me so in the chat above the chat there's a blue box and I asked you some, I want you to finish some, or I asked you, I forgot. <laughs> I forgot what I asked you. Let's look one more time. Okay, 114 people voted. Thank you, everyone. Mwah, thank you for that. Okay, the topic is entertainment, right? So we did that before, right? Entertainment. Where's entertainment? Here it is. Here's entertainment right here. And these are the verbs. Watch, read, listen to. And so we use that in the poll. So entertainment, watch, read, listen to. Yeah, so three verbs. So for example, did you watch TV today? So this is the past tense. So did you do this today? I asked, did you watch TV today? Did you read the newspaper today? Did you listen to the radio today? Did you do all of the above? That means, did you watch TV? Did you read the newspaper? And did you listen to the radio today? All three. All right. So our number one choice, most people said, T 
TV. So number one was um, TV. So I watched TV today. So 50, 53% of the people, 53% of the people who did the poll said they watched TV today. Number two, all three, 21% of the people in the poll said they watch TV today, they read the newspaper today, and they listen to the radio today. Then, number three was uh, newspaper. 16% said, I read the newspaper today. Then, only 9% said they listened to the radio today. So I think that's going down, down, down. I think most people do not listen to the radio these days. I think most people might listen to, if they're driving, they are perhaps listening to a CD or streaming music, right, on their, on their phone, on their device. And then when they're at home, maybe they're um, watching YouTube videos or something like that. So the radio is going down, 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 yeah. Uh, Julia, yeah, Julia is in the Ukraine, so we pray for Julia. Mwah. Yeah, I, I was like, wow, Julia. So I'm, I'm really happy to see you, Julia. And um, yeah, my heart goes to you and your country. Oh, you're going to make me cry. Uh, I don't want to cry in, in the live stream. Don't want to do that. So, uh, um good luck Julia what else oh man so mm, um, yeah so everyone can see Julia's post there um, yeah Okay, I'm happy, Julia, that you're in a safe place. Yeah, so. Woo! Okay, yeah. Okay, yeah, terrible. So, I hope you can just enjoy our um, English time together here, Julia. So, that's why I want you to enjoy your time here with us. Practicing English, yes, yes. So, um, okay, let's go to... Activity number five. Yes, this is our last activity. Let's watch a video and let's practice it together, shall we? Let's practice it together. So I'm going to pop up the video right here. You're going to see it in a second. There it is right there. There is the... Okay, so I'm going to, I'm going to make it full size, okay? So let's... Say the sentences together. Let's practice together, shall we? Okay, I'm going to make it full screen. Here we go, full screen. We are full screen mode. <laughs> full screen mode, here we go. Okay, let's practice it together. Okay, 10 very short conversations. We are at set 14 today. Okay, here we go. Good work, everyone. Good work, everyone. Good work, everyone. Thank you, boss. Thank you, boss. Thank you, boss. Good work, everyone. Thank you, boss. What can I get you? What can I get you? What can I get you? A double scoop, please. A double scoop, please. A double scoop, please. What can I get you? A double scoop, please. So, double scoop. So, vanilla and chocolate. A double. Both. Vanilla and chocolate. It's starting to rain. 
It's starting to rain. It's starting to rain. Really? Not here. Really? Not here. Really? Not here. It's starting to rain. Really? Not here. It must be rush hour. <clears throat> it must be rush hour. It must be rush hour. Okay, Lolly has a question, Scoop. Let's answer Lolly's question here. Scoop. Scoop. So, so like the like a big spoon, right? They use in the ice cream shop. If you go to the ice cream shop, they they have like a scooper, right? And it's like a, a it's like a ice it's like a big spoon and like you got one one scoop, two scoops, three. So you can say like a single, that's one scoop. A double, that's two. And there's even a triple, that's three scoops. One, two, three. So one scoop, two scoops, three scoops. So one scoop is a single, two scoops is a double, three scoops is a triple. I like a double scoop. I a single is too, not enough, but three is too much. <laughs> I like a double. Okay, Lolly, good. Let's get back to the video. All right, all right, all right. Okay, here we go. Let's continue. All right. It must be rush hour. It must be rush hour. Tetsuro, impossible. No way, Tetsuro. That's impossible. It must be rush hour. It, whoops, oh no, it's going too fast. It must be, it must be, it must be, it must be rush hour, it must be. Because there's so many cars, it must be rush hour. Rush hour is like when people are going to work, when people are coming home, right? So the rush, so usually rush hour is in the morning, maybe, 9 a.m. and then 5 p.m. like people going to work and coming home from work. This is the best tree house. This is the best tree house. This is the best tree house. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. This must be... No, no, no. This is the best tree house. Thank you. Do you deliver? Do you deliver? Do you deliver? Yes, we do. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. Do you deliver? Yes, we do. Now, do you deliver? That means do you... Um, can you bring it to my house? Can you bring it to my house? And then, yes, we can. Yes, we do. We meaning it's the shop, right? So all the people working at the pizza shop. Yes, we do. So at the pizza shop, you have, you have the people making the pizzas. You have the people delivering the pizza. So we, we do. That means like the group, the group working at the pizza shop. This is great coffee. This is great coffee. This is great coffee. I got it online. I got it online. I got it online. This is great coffee. I got it online. So that means th the, the person did the shopping online. So maybe they went on the internet and they ordered coffee, coffee beans, and it was delivered to their house. Yeah, this is great coffee. I got it online. Please pass the pepper. Please pass the pepper. Please pass the pepper. Here you are. Here you are. Here you are. Please pass the pepper. Here you are.
Do you take milk? Do you take milk? Do you take milk? Just a little thanks. Just a little thanks. Just a little thanks. Do you take milk? Just a little thanks. So that means, do you take milk? Do you, um, do you put milk in your coffee? So this is a cup of coffee. And so the, the person, maybe this person offered their guest a cup of coffee, right? So you offer, you have a, a friend who comes to your house and you offer them a cup of coffee and then you ask them, like, do you take milk? Do you take sugar? Or you could say, how do you take your coffee? How do you take your coffee? And the person would say, oh, I like it black. Uh, a little milk, please. A little sugar, please. Or a little milk and sugar, please. Cream and sugar. And this person, just a little milk. So just, just a little milk in my coffee, please. All right. Don't forget the lights. Don't forget the lights. Don't forget the lights. I won't. I won't. I won't. So don't forget the lights. I won't. Don't forget the lights. So like when we're leaving the house, don't forget the lights. That means turn off the lights. So if we are leaving the house and I say, don't forget the lights, that means don't forget to turn off the lights. And then I won't, I will not. I will not, I won't, I won't, I won't. I will not, I will not, I will not, I won't. So turn off the lights. Don't forget. Okay, now let's do, okay, now I'm going to run the video and let's do it together. Okay, here we go. I'm going to. Run the video now. Okay, now it's your turn. I will go first. I will be the purple sentences. And you will go second. You will be the blue sentences. Good work, everyone. What can I get you? It's starting to rain. It must be rush hour. This is the best tree house. Do you deliver? This is great coffee. Please pass the pepper. Do you take milk? Don't forget the lights. Okay, let's switch. You will go first. You will be the purple sentences. And I will go second. I will be the blue sentences.
Thank you, boss. A double scoop, please. Really? Not here. It must be. Thank you. Yes, we do. I got it online. Here you are. Just a little thanks. I won't. Okay, I think that's it. Yeah, good job. All right. Okay, okie dokie. <laughs> you did it. Yes. Thank you, everyone. All right. Mwah, that was number five. Wow. So you've been here with me for two hours. Thank you, everyone. I really, really appreciate it. Now, um, before I go, we're going to have one minute of silence for peace and love. Okay. So we're here together right now around the world, right? So all of us are, we're all here right now together but we're all in different parts of the world, right? So we have power to, to change the world. Yes, we do, because we are together, right? We are together, but separate. So let's pray or let's, let's give, let's give um, positive vibrations. Let's, let's give positive thoughts to peace and love for the world, okay? So let's take one minute and and give out that energy let's give out peace and love the, the positive energy okay so here we go count down five four three two one okay one minute peace and love Okay. Okay. Whew. Okay. Thank you, everyone. And, um, okay. Okay. So, um, Let's, 
let's give that positive feed, let's give that positive um, energy for world and peace. Okay, thank you everyone. Thank you, Mwah. love you. Um, I will be back tomorrow. I will be back tomorrow, uh, Saturday. Remember, I'm in Japan, so I will be here tomorrow at this time, 10 a.m. on Saturday, but on Saturday for one hour. So today, we actually went over two hours. Tomorrow, we will be here for one hour, um, 10 a.m. Japan time. So I hope to see you tomorrow. Um, Hernando, hello, Hernando. Okay, Amna, hello, thank you. Okay, um, I hope to, Christine, Thank you. I hope to see you back here tomorrow. And um, yeah, so I don't know what to say now. <laughs> Ooh, okay, so um, yeah, so everyone be careful out there. Smile and let's, let's love each other. Let's pray for love and peace. Yeah, Mwah. and um, thank you everyone. You guys are very very kind to me i really appreciate your kindness i appreciate your love i appreciate you for being here so um yeah so health peace love thank you julia and julia i know you're ah you're in, in difficult situation julia and i'm happy you're safe okay let's say goodbye for now i will be back tomorrow so let's let's say goodbye for now and um we'll see each other very soon okay so here we go countdown let's count down together here we go five four three two one thank you everyone Mwah. love and peace i will see you tomorrow bye <laughs>